Hey guys, it's another wonderful TechNet with Productions video, and we are going to be talking about the TG01. We're going to be talking about mining, guys. It's probably something you normally don't watch my channel for. It's usually upgrading, FPS, gaming type of things uh, I do on this channel. But I just want to talk about if you could actually mine with this thing. Yes, you can. If you got that 1660 Ti, that 2060 Super, that 3070, or even a 2070, you can mine. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that down in this video for you and uh, talk about the different amount of money you can make if you leave this thing on, if it's gonna become a room heater, and uh, if it's gonna stay cool enough to actually mine. Of course, you are gonna have to overclock your card for mining, but uh, yeah, we'll get into it and uh, watch the video and see what uh, I have to say. All right, guys, we're gonna jump right into this video. I know it's not an upgrading, but we're talking about mining, cryptocurrency. Um, let's talk about the 1660 Ti, which is one of the most common cards that comes with this. You are gonna be able to make about $1.78 with current Bitcoin uh, you know, prices. This is, of course, with nice hash uh, mining that I'm doing this with. Um, you're gonna see a hash rate of 28.646, at least that's with my overclocking. Your results may vary. You might get a better overclock or you might get a lesser overclock, but you're gonna get around that hash rate of, you know, in the 20s. So if you have a 3070 in here, you're gonna be looking at of one day about 390 uh, with current prices, and that's a mega hash of, or uh, MS, MHS per second is 40.9. Uh, your 30-day outlook is going to be 117 bucks. That could pay for your new graphics card if you run that. Of course, you do got the power cost. You'd have to calculate that in there. I didn't do the calculation for Wisconsin. Uh, of course, it's going to be less than that other one I did that, that with the dual 3090s and the two 1,200-watt uh, power supplies videos. Your 2060 Super, you're going to be looking at 278 per day, and that's a mega hash of 40.9, and the 3070 is going to be a 50 point. 59.8 I think I confused those in the beginning of the video sorry about that uh, 30 day on both those so the RTX 3070 is 117 and your RTX 2060 super is going to be 8340 a month so it is really feasible to you know mine with these this TG is it a room heater no I do leave it in my room I do crank the fans up I do crank the the GPU fans up then when I go to the PC to do research or, or a little bit of gaming I turn the, the mining off. Um, is it going to wreck your card? Well, let's be honest. Most PCs you're going to keep between three and five years, and then you're going to need to upgrade because you're going to need to stay current, and that's just how the tech has been going. Um, if you just do spites of mining, I've been doing probably uh, eight to 10 hours a day mining, I'm seeing about half that rate. So $117, you'll probably see like 50, 60 bucks. And then the rest of the time, I might be browsing the internet or doing other things on this computer. So of course, the more you mine, the more you're gonna see. And of course, this is all dictated by Bitcoin prices. If they go up, you're gonna make more. If they go down, you're gonna make less. I'm gonna jump over here to the on-screen really quick and I will show you what this is making, like I said, it's 177. Of course, it jumps up and down. When I looked at it, it said 178. And then, of course, our mega hash for this PC is 28737. Uh, um, I like nice hash because it'll jump around on the algorithms to try to find you the best price. Um, it doesn't always do that. Sometimes you gotta force it. If you find a good algorithm that's paying good, force it to go to it. So it's not just kind of like a leave it thing totally. You could leave it and it will always make you money, but. If you find an algorithm that's going to pay you ten dollars, why are you going to do an algorithm that pays you two? Um, nice hash does pop up as being a virus. You do have to disable uh, Windows virus and add exclusions and other stuff like that. If this video is popular enough and you guys want to know how to do that, I will do an instructional video. The other thing I didn't talk about with the mining video are these HDMI uh, monitor dummies. Some of the driver software and stuff in Windows will shut the graphics card down if it doesn't have a monitor attached or running. Of course, running a monitor like this is a, is a power sink. It's a 100, 200 watt monitor. It's going to eat up your power bill and that's going to make you lose money. So, of course, you don't want to run your monitor when you're mining. You go and order one of these guys between 5 and 20 bucks on Amazon. You can find them cheaper. Um, and plug this guy in when you're not mining. Of course, you do have to access the back. Uh, you could get a display port adapter to HDMI and plug this in the extra port if you have the 1660 Ti. If you got the 1650 Super or 1650, 
Of course, you might have limited ports on the back like the Envy that I showed on the, the channel and it has two ports for monitors. So other than that, guys, this was a Tech Neighborhood Productions video. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comment, throw them down below. I try to get to everybody, but there's a lot of comments that come in, and I try, guys. I really, really try. I, I dedicate my time to you, and you guys are awesome. But anyways, guys, this was a Tech Knitwood video, and thank you for watching.